In this video, we will look at simplifying compound fractions consisting of numbers. What a compound or complex fraction is, is a fraction in fractions. If we have fractions inside of fractions, we can call them either compound fractions or complex fractions. There are a couple ways to simplify these. The easiest would be to clear the small fractions by multiplying each term by the least common denominator of everything in the expression. So, for example, if we have this compound fraction, we could look at the denominators of 4, 6, 2, and 3, and find the least common denominator of all four of those. The least common denominator is 12. And what we will do is multiply each term by 12 in the numerator and the denominator. Notice we do the same thing on each fraction, multiplying by 12. The advantage of doing this is we can divide out or reduce that 12 with the denominators. 12 over 4 is 3. 12 over 6 is 2. 12 over 2 is 6. And 12 over 3 is 4. Notice we have divided out the denominators of all the little fractions. And left is simple multiplication problems all the way across. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 5 times 2 is 10 over 6 times 1 is 6, minus 4 times 4, which is 16. We can quickly simplify the numerator and denominator. 9 plus 16 is 19. I'm sorry, 9 plus 10 is 19. And 6 minus 16 is negative 10. This complex fraction reduced to negative 19 tenths. Notice, we were not allowed to reduce the 9 over 6. We cannot do any reducing on a fraction if there is any adding or subtracting in the numerator or denominator. Let's go ahead and look at another example where we simplify a compound or complex fraction by multiplying by the least common denominator. In this problem, the only denominators are 2 and 4. The least common denominator of those denominators is 4. So we will multiply each term by 4. This includes the 2, which is not a fraction, and the 1, which is not a fraction. We must multiply each term, whether it's a number or a fraction, by the 4. Then, we can reduce the 4's with the denominators. 4 over 2 is 2. And in the bottom, denominator 4 over 4 divides out completely. We're left with 2 times 1, or 2, plus 2 times 4, which is 8, over 4 times 1, which is 4, plus 9. By simply adding together what's left, we end up with 10 over 13. Notice again, we could not reduce the 2 fourths because of the adding and subtracting in the numerator and denominator. 10 thirteenths is our final answer. We can use this strategy of multiplying by the least common denominator on every term, numerator, and denominator to make simplifying these compound or complex fractions much simpler.